I would say that if your acid reflux is a symptom that's causing you problems on a daily basis or a weekly basis and it's not just going away um, on its own, it might be worthwhile uh, seeing a doctor about it. Sometimes taking over-the-counter medic antacids or adjusting your diet to avoid spicy foods or greasy foods and or foods with a lot of caffeine in them that can have, the patients can treat themselves at home with just doing that. But if those things aren't really working and the symptoms are persisting, especially if they're having um, trouble swallowing or they're having significant pain inside the chest, that would be a good reason to see your doctor about it. Actually, anybody who's over 55 years of age and has symptoms of acid reflux, our National Society recommend them having an endoscopy to evaluate the, the esophagus. What we're looking to see is there's, are there any damage or sequela from the acid reflux itself because when acid com continually goes inside the esophagus, it can cause inflammation, it can cause ulcers, and it can cause something called esophagitis. Um, esophagitis can lead to uh, strictures or narrowing in the esophagus, which makes food difficult to go down. And over time, it can lead to changes which we think um, lead to something called Barrett's esophagus. Barrett's esophagus is a pre-malignant lesion, meaning it's a, it's a lesion that can turn into cancer down the road. So chronic acid reflux is thought to be a precursor for possibly developing cancer down the road if it's not controlled. So these are the reasons why in patients above 55 years of age, um, uh, weight loss, intractable nausea and vomiting, and trouble swallowing, or who are anemic, those are patients that really need to have an endoscopy for evaluation.